As people around the world focus on the Rio Olympics here in China, we cannot help but remember the Beijing Olympics in 2008. Now, Marco Shan from our digital desk gave us more about the 2008 Games' everlasting impact on China as well as on the capital city, Beijing. We all agree that there are many issues and controversies surrounding this year's Olympics. Sports fans around the world are still looking forward to it with high expectations. And host country of the Olympic Games knows how much effort is needed to hold a successful Games. And for Beijing, the influence was so profound that some argue that it has changed China forever. From the People's Republic of China. Today, although some people still hold the stereotype that Team China treats its young athletes harshly, pushing them to the absolute limit in training. The fact that China is a world power in many sports fields is beyond question. However, it's only in recent decades that China has made a name for itself as a sporting power. Since China's Olympic debut in 1932, it took China 52 years before it won its first gold medal in Los Angeles in 1984, when Chinese sharpshooter Xu Haifeng came up on top in the men's 50-meter free pistol. But the real deal for China in its Olympic history, without a doubt, was its successful bid for the Olympic Games in 2008, an event so important that some may argue it changed China forever. After losing out to Sydney in 1993, China eventually won their second bid in 2001. The Chinese capital of Beijing was overhauled completely after being named as the whole city. 40 billion US dollars were spent on hosting the 2008 Games. The 2008 Games was also a catalyst for the city's subway network. Before Beijing 2008, there were only four lines in operation, but now it has nearly 20 across the city. With the added infrastructure brought by the Olympics, more international events were held in Beijing between 2009 and 2014 than during the 59-year period from 1949 to 2008. And August 8th, the opening day of Beijing Olympics, it is now National Fitness Day of China. Beijing 2008 sparked a full-scale fitness movement across the country, and it continues to play a big part in the lifestyle of people in the cities nationwide. Go to any park in Beijing now and you will see a jogging is now firm favorite among China's rising middle class. The Olympic Park is not only a great place for running, but also a perfect place for square dancing, a new phenomenon that has swept the country and is extremely popular among China's older generation. But that's now the end of China's Olympic story. With Beijing set to host the 2022 Winter Olympic Games, it will be the first city to play host to both the Summer and Winter Olympics. So what's next? Well, let's not think about the 2022 Games just yet. Right now, it's all about the real time. So, as we can see, successfully hosting an Olympic Games meant a lot to China. It greatly boosted Chinese people's confidence on the world stage. It helped restructure Beijing's urban landscape and most importantly, it promoted public awareness of the idea of national fitness.